doing today? I'm still in here in Nigeria. Lovely day today. While I'm waiting for my husband for us to go somewhere, I thought I'll come and show you lots. My lovely hair. I just did my hair today in preparation for our travel. Tomorrow. We are leaving Nigeria tomorrow for UK. So in the estate where we are, I thought I would just come around here and show you my new hair. Do you like it? Look at the back. Do you like my hair? Just to show off, let me release everything and you can see how full it is. That's my hair in preparation for our travel tomorrow. So I did my hair. I didn't want to take you along when I was doing it because it took about three hours. And I didn't want to bore you. So I, would talk, uh, I thought I would just show you the finishing touch once it's all done. So here is the estate where we are at Yaba. It's a lovely quiet environment. You can hear the generator over there, the sound of the generator. It's been um, an experience, you know, for this uh, short visit to Nigeria. It's been a wonderful experience, to be quite honest. We came for something to be joyful. The wedding of our first son, so I now have a lovely daughter. Never mind daughter-in-law. I've got a lovely daughter. So the wedding is all done and dusted. And um, we've also rested. And now I thought I would do a quick video to show you my... This video is just going to be about my hair. So I hope you're not going to be bored just about my hair to show you the finishing touches of the hair that I did this morning. You get me? <laughs> you want to come in my vlog? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's a man just passing by. He wants to be in my vlog, but no. This video to say that I'm so proud of everyone for the part they played at the wedding. We only had about two weeks to prepare for this wedding. But they were here on the grounds in Lagos to arrange it all. You wouldn't know that it was an impromptu wedding. It had to be impromptu for different reasons, but I'm not going to bore you with that at the moment. But I just want to appreciate them all. Okay, I think I've said enough and I've showed you enough of my hair. Look at my face, I'm now sweating. Look, I'm now sweating. So I'm going to stop you here when uh, we are on our way. For the visits I mentioned to you, I will do another quick vlog. Okay then, hope you are all smiling. As I always say, please keep smiling and keep being grateful because it could have been worse. So it could be, sorry, it could be worse. So you don't have to be moody in as much as sometimes it's very difficult. Keep smiling, my dears, and thank you for watching and walking around this estate with me. Goodbye. Still, the weather is still not very clear. So, just 
just take you along with us to the airport to board our flight back to UK. I hope this video will be clear because it's still quite misty. The sun is not out yet. You can hear all the horn. That's the only language they understand here. The motorists always using their horn every second. That's the language of driving here. You know, just something you have to get used to. When you are here in Nigeria driving, you have to use your horn. You use your horn to oh thank you for this. Use your horn for the motorists, you use your horn for the pedestrians. Your people just cross the road anyhow and they have no care at all. Sometimes you even see people driving through, coming through uh, the, other, the wrong side of the road. So you have to be very, very careful. And that's the reason why they use their horn so much to draw people's attention or to warn people to get out of their way. <laughs> so we have, um, it's been fantastic. Nigeria is actually fun. It's just that when you hear all the things happening, sometimes you're so scared to even travel. But um, when you're here, you don't really remember all those um, scary stories. But um, we are so blessed that when we come, we always have a um, decent place to stay and taken care of. It's just a blessing. So we are now, we are still on the way. It looks like there's a bit of traffic there. Um, hopefully it's not too bad so that we don't um, rush. Some um, bit of traffic. As you can see. See. It's building up.
We are now, you can see Moritala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos. That's where we are entering now. We just arrived at the departures. So let's go and um, see what they are up to today. Because obviously we have some food stuff and let's see what's going to happen we just arrived at the airport that's the airport come on now uh, i spend the, this time with carry that carry yo she didn't care to her okay that's fine okay. So we are in front of the airport, that's the departures. That's the departures, we're just coming out of the car. Okay. That's the airport. That's the international airport. <laughs> okay. I'm calling me to come. Okay, okay, they don't want me to video anymore, but that's okay just to show you that we are now at the airport. Okay, we just arrived Heathrow Airport, picked our car, and we are now on our way home because we left our car at the airport. We are under a sort of tunnel. I hope it's still clear. Look at that. We're under a tunnel. Just left Heathrow, heading to M25 motorway to take us home where we live. So we are under the tunnel at the moment. And um, as I said in the morning, we left Motala Mohammed Airport Lagos early hours of this morning and we just arrived in London Heathrow we've picked up our luggages we went through the customs because of all this uh, thing on the air now there's a lot of checks and delays at the airport so we have to go we went through a lot I'm going to do a sit-down video really for to share with you all all that we went through um, on this uh, short trip it was unbelievable. I'm going to do a sit down video to talk about our experiences during this uh, one week visit to Nigeria. It's unbelievable. So, yes, as you can see, we are now entering the motorway to start going back to our home in that fort. Yeah. Let me see if my husband who doesn't like being in the camera will say hello to you lot. Look at your face. <laughs> this is going to be uploaded, you know. Can you smile? Look at the camera and smile. <laughs> and say hello to people. What's wrong with you? Say hello to people now. Hello. <laughs> That's very weak. That's very weak hello. Hello. <laughs> That's more like <laughs> that's more like it. Give me a break. <laughs> now, everything is going on. I'm not editing any any part of this video. You are, you are talking now. So. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, anyway, I don't even know why I, maybe I look tired. I must, I must look tired because um, we didn't even sleep. Where are we heading to? Have we mixed it? No. What's happening then? We close this road. Oh. Are we going to do what is going to happen? That road is closed. Oh dear, we are just negotiating our way home, and um, my husband, who is driving, said that the road that we are supposed to have taken 
is closed. Yeah, look at that. You know, look at that road uh, closure. Usually, we'll take that road. So, maybe what we'll have to do now, let's put our navigator um, for home and see if he's going to reroute us. Yeah? Mm. Yeah, I think we should be heading to know where it says here is central London. This one? No, 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 no. The other one. Straight. This one. Uh, yeah. Here is central where, London. Where we are now? I don't know, my, but um, sorry. Uh, folks, we are just uh, negotiating the best way home because the normal way. My God, well, let me put it on now. Okay, you have. Being calculated. Yeah, definitely it has to be this way. Yeah, the road we would normally take. Please select a road. I've selected this one. Yeah. So there let's are toll roads on the route. Caution: yeah. There are traffic obstructions on the route. Yeah. So the navigator is trying to reroute us because we just noticed that Please the road we would have taken is um. So we are hoping that this will take us get back. No, we can't because that road is closed. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, my lovely people. You know that uh, um, what is it called? This uh, sat nav. Sometimes it can be a pain if you don't know where you're going. He's telling us to go back because obviously the route he knows <laughs> is the route that um, the road that was uh, closed, and he's trying to reroute us back to that road. And we're not going to do that because um, obviously we can't go anywhere because the road is closed so we are going to just keep going think uh, go heading where we think is the right route so hopefully the sat nav will change its mind and um, walk with us <laughs> oh these technologies now turn off at the second exit to the left yeah it's still telling us to turn off but we can't do that so we are just um, Please continuing for yards. yeah i think it's now changing to our own way so hopefully we'll get to a point where we know where we are going or where we are and then we can just uh, turn it off and start uh, going without the sat nav so yeah as i was saying it's been um we didn't sleep much last night we didn't sleep much last night because um, we did a last minute packing because we have to do a few things yesterday before we left Lagos and uh, did a last minute packing and we are, we are awake until after midnight, 1 a.m. and we have to get up like 5 a.m. again this morning to be able to catch our morning flight. So it's been a really hectic day. Um, being day flight, you know, you hardly sleep in the in the in the plane. But uh, yeah, I think we shut our eyes a little bit. But we are now heading home. That's the main thing. What is he saying now? Are you taking here? Sorry, this sir. So let's so, continue going yeah, straight then. Let's go continue going. Yeah, it still it still wants to take us back. This is a certain hour, but we are still we are just going. Anyway, yes. Yeah, so we are just um, trying to negotiate uh, to know. Yeah, it can't tell us to go back to go back. I'm sure we'll find a way. We'll find a, an area that we uh, we are familiar with, and then we can take it home. Yeah. Wow. Four hundred and eight. So I don't understand. What's that sign saying? Yeah. Anyway, we will <laughs> eventually get home as far as I know. We are going to. Let's just keep going and see what happens. Yeah. Taking that way. Says healing done. Hayes, yeah. At least there's an, a, a place called Hayes. We have an idea where that is in Essex. So we're just head, heading that way. When we get that, to that area, we'll be able to know where we are. 
continue. The sat nav is still telling us to do a U turn, but we're not going to listen to that. Hopefully, it will change uh, once he knows where we are heading. So, we are just. Make a U turn now. He's telling us to make a U turn, but we're not going to do that. Because making a U turn means that we're going to go back to where we started. And that's no use. No use to us at all. So let's see. Hey, straight on, straight on. Yeah, straight on today. So please, when we get to around that area of Hayes in Essex, we'll be able to know. I wonder why the radio is also talking when the sat nav is talking. How possible is that? Yeah. I wish you can just stop the radio if possible, but we can't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Because it's disrupting what I'm saying. I hope people are hearing me anyway. Yeah, so as I was saying, it's been a um, really hectic one week. So many checks out there because of the COVID. And um, yeah, but the most important thing is that we made it. Uh, the trip was very successful. The wedding was very successful. And um, yeah, and we are back to land, back to UK. And we thank God for safe trip. We really thank God. See, me and my husband, we are marching, wearing the same thing. Please He's got the top know. of the it's dress awesome. I have on. It's a mine is a dress. It's only just the top. Yep. So now turn left. Yeah. I will as I say I'll do I will do a sit down video to tell you all about this uh, trip. So I'm not gonna bore you with this travel now. Let us just be heading home and to uh, go and grab some rest. I'll stop the video here and uh, thank you all for watching and coming along with us from Heathrow heading back home after our one week visit to Lake uh, Nigeria, Lagos. We only stopped at Lagos. We didn't go anywhere else because yeah, what we came for, the wedding we came for took place in Lagos and uh, yeah, so we just had the wedding rested for a few days and now we are back to London. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you again very very soon. Goodbye and God bless. Bye.